YB Fit Nation looks like we are ready to go. Welcome back to another Monday Motivational Be Fit Live program workout. This is a chance for us to really focus on our strength, focus on some of our resistance, focus on our cardio base, uh, elevation as we work and honing in on focusing on ourselves first and foremost, all right? A great way to start the week with our BeFit Live program workout. If you're new to the workout, if you're new to the program, join us, welcome us, uh, drop us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're uh, at environment-wise. If you're working out with us today, are you at home? Are you in the gym? Are you outdoors taking advantage of uh, some beautiful weather that you may have outdoors right now? Uh, let us know, drop us a note in the comments. But uh, with our Exchange BeFit program, we are focusing on just one component of our 360 approach to our Be Fit program team, all right? We're here to support you every step of the way and every rep of the way with our Be Fit Live program workout. Once again, we have a great hybrid based workout for you available for today. So find your mats, find your water, find your dumbbells if you uh, have any available to you. Let's go ahead and grab those now. Uh, from here though, let's go ahead and introduce my partner, my workout partner for today to help keep myself accountable every rep of the way as well. Uh, Captain Brad Bush yes. today in the house. How are yeah. you doing today, sir? Hey, doing good. Ready to, ready to work on the next hundred episodes. <laughs> episode 101, we're here. We're That's right. Episode 101, again, uh, following up with last week's episode. Uh, you know, uh, last week was a kind of a hybrid style resistance-based workout, and we're going to carry the same kind of tone throughout today's workout. Finishing up the week, finishing up the month, yeah. nice and strong, right? So uh, again, with the hybrid workout we have available today, we're working on focusing on our form, focusing on our specific muscle groups, full body okay. uh, is what we're going to approach for today. Uh, we also have one or two movements in to really kind of gear up the heart rate, right? right. You'll, you'll see that uh, through the movements for today as well. But uh, as we get settled in, let's go through the timing. Let's go through the movements for today uh, right up here on our screen. So we have four different movements that we're going to tackle for today. Again, if you have uh, some dumbbells, let's go ahead and grab a pair of dumbbells for today. Uh, movement number one is going to be a dumbbell squat, alternating squats rather with a front rack position on our dumbbells, all right? And we're gonna demo demonstrate each of these four movements right after this. And so movement number two, our cardio-based movement for today is going to be a triple switch hold with some lateral work with five ice skaters. So triple switch hold and five ice skaters. Movement number three is going to be a four-point dumbbell T row, okay? So we'll be on the floor into a four-point stance and then really engaging our core and mid upper back with our T row uh, movements and last but not least movement number four is going to be a half kneeling dumbbell diagonal chop so we're going to move from our hip up in a diagonal formation really engaging our core focusing on some balance and stability into that half knee for movement number four our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds team again 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds and throughout all throughout today's workout, uh, if you have the opportunity, feel free and leave us a note in the comments below. We'd love to see the motivation. We'd love to see the encouragement, Be Fit Nation. Uh, we'd love to see where you're at, how you're engaging, and how you are focusing on moving through today's workout team. All right, so before we get started with any um, warm-ups and with our workout, let's go ahead and demonstrate each of the four movements. That way we know exactly what we're gonna get into. So Captain Bush has a pair of dumbbells here. We have movement number one, which is a front squat, a front rack squat, alternating in a front rack position. So we're gonna come down first with our hands facing each other. Uh, I'm sorry, with our hands, our palms facing each other here, just like Captain Bush was doing. Uh, our feet shoulder width apart. All right, we're gonna drop down into our low squat position. Drive up through our heels, keeping our chest up and into that front squat position. We're going to hammer curl up into a front rack position now where our dumbbells are at. Our wrists are going to be stacked underneath our elbow. And from here, we're going to go down into our squat again, driving up through our heels, engaging our hamstrings, glutes, quads, resetting back down. And we're going to alternate throughout our front rack position and a lower grip position. So again, with that front rack position after each and every rep, second rep, we'll go ahead and engage those biceps. So a little two for one combo on that upper body front rack position into that lower squat position, okay? Movement number two, we have that cardio base movement. So we're gonna focus on a triple switch hold with five high skaters to break down that triple switch. It's basically or essentially a high knee, but three high knees and on that third high knee, you're gonna pause. 
So really force you need to balance and stabilize out of that nice strong pause. And then you have five ice skaters, which are just gonna be some lateral shuffles, if you will, hopping from left to right. You're gonna engage the outside of that thigh, outside of that glute, find that balance. And after that five, you're gonna go into your three high knees with that pause at that third hold. And then we're back into our five ice skaters. All right, that's gonna be our cardio based movement for today to really think about getting our rate up and elevated, but it takes a lot of focus and stability yes. out of those movements. Again, we always move in a forward and backward type of plane of motion. So to really kind of work on those lateral movements, just as we would throughout our everyday lifestyle, uh, it really helps out a lot and goes a long way into those lateral movements that we approach here in our BFIT lives. So movement number three, we're going to find one dumbbell here. We're going to get down on a four point stance. So remember your four point stance is going to be hand directly stacked underneath your shoulder, your knees directly underneath your hips. So from this, correct, uh, one dumbbell and your palm is gonna be facing the back of the room. From here, you're thinking of unilateral work here, so we are gonna engage into a T-row position, right? Really forcing us to stabilize as well while we work 20 seconds on one side. So you'll see Kevin Bush is really isolating that right side of his mid to upper back and his lats as well. So that T row position is going to be for 20 seconds of work here. After that 20, we'll go ahead and switch sides with that dumbbell, reset, and then keep working on that left side. Now, a few notes here, remember to keep your hips square to the floor. Your head is looking down at that low floor position for a nice spinal alignment all the way down, all right? That's gonna be a nice controlled movement and a nice flat back forcing you to stabilize into that movement, all right team? So that's gonna be movement number three, which is that um, alternating four point stance with a row. And movement number four, sticking with one dumbbell here, we're gonna take a half knee stance, just like Kevin Bush is doing, and we're gonna work our core and our obliques with some isolation here, utilizing some of our anterior delts, which is the front of our shoulder, to raise up into a diagonal chop. So we're gonna start off on our right side and our right hip. We're gonna travel up with that load up into that left side up top and control that weight on the way down. I know Ken Bush is showing us that strength with that pause at the top, but no need to pause if you are not there. But nice control is what's being demonstrated right here. Remember our knee is gonna be stacked underneath our ankle for that lead leg. And then that hip from that knee rear knee all the way up into that uh, neck position will be in a relatively straight line. So if you find yourself pushing back or hinging at that hip hinge position, go ahead and push those hips forward and that can really get you in a nice straight position. So 20 seconds on one side and then we'll focus on 20 seconds on that opposite side. Remember engaging our core with that slight twist with that elevation of that load, we are going to engage our obliques as well for a nice strong midsection team. All right, sound good, sound great? All right, again, team, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below on our Facebook page. Again, we have our page up and running, so uh, we will go ahead and send shout outs, send likes, uh, send any type of questions or comments available uh, to us. We'll go ahead and read those out as well, team. All right, just like we do before we get started with any type of workout, we're going to go ahead and get warmed up with some dynamic stretching as well. So I see Christine is in the chat. I know she's ready to go. She's with us week after week. So we love to see it in here as well. So Kevin Bush, looks like we are ready to go. Let's do it. All right, let's get up with some, let's start off with some dynamic stretching here. So let's go ahead and take that right leg. We're gonna extend it back to our hips here. Push those hips forward and that left arm is going to come up in nice, straight, strong position here. All right, we're gonna sit in each of these movements for about 15 to 20 seconds here. So go ahead and alternate legs. Left leg is back, right arm is up. You can feel that stretch in your hips, your hip flexors, your arm that's elevated and up going towards the sky here. A little mobility work here. So stretch out nice and tall. Don't forget to breathe. Nice deep breath in, exhale. Goes a long way, especially if it's a morning workout for us here. Right. Right, if this is your first time getting moving for today, uh, really think about taking advantage of your stretching routine, okay? Even if it's the first thing you do when you wake up, it can go a long way with your movement and your performance throughout your daily lifestyle team. All right, after this movement, we're gonna take a nice wide stance here. So our feet are, be are going to become fixed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight over to our left and over to our right. So nice lateral uh, lunges here. So 
Nothing too aggressive, nothing with load. However, we are just shifting our weight over to the left and to the right. You can feel that stretch on the inside of our thighs. Feeling some blood flow moving into our lower body since we do have some squats uh, going for today. We do have that triple switch hold with those lateral movements on those ice skaters. We are going to incorporate a little bit more of inner thigh and outer thigh activation here with those lateral movements. So this movement can go a long way with warming you up here team. All right, last three, two, one. All right team, let's come to the back of our workout space here. We're gonna find a space on the floor. We're gonna get down into a low and deep squat. Again, if we've been seated for a long period of time, this is a great movement here, uh, world's greatest stretch here to really open up our hips here. So we're gonna reach down towards our toes, feel that stretch in our hamstring. Walk it out into a high plank position. All right, from this high plank position, we're gonna take that right leg. We are gonna extend it up and try to get it by the right hand side. You're gonna feel that stretch again on your hips here, inner and outer. Keep that chest down nice and compact. Pausing right here and let's go ahead and take that back into that high plank position. All right, re relax that, kind of shake that one out. Heel to toe there and then we'll go ahead and take that left leg and we'll do the same here. Nice long stretch here. Feel that stretch within the inside of our thigh. Again, uh, if, if you're tight within our hips, it may not be as far or as uh, extended as this, but we'll go ahead and pedal that out here. And last one on the right side, you may feel that you can go a little bit higher next to your right hand here. If you wanna take that right hand and you wanna extend it up into that T rotation, you can do about five reps of these to really think about that thoracic rotation here, kind of warming that mid to upper back up as well. And shoulders reset here. Come back into the high plank, shake that one out, heel to toe, and we'll take that left leg, extend it back up to that top position. Go ahead and extend that left arm up and over. Again, nice, comfortable rotations here to finish this out, last three two reps here and one more all right team back into that high plank retract back extend it back up and we should be good to go nice. <laughs> nice and all right team as we get our timers ready to go as we find our weights again two dumbbells here we'll go through the four movements once again movement number one you're going to have an alternating front rack position dumbbell squats that's going to be movement number one movement number two we're going to get our heart rate elevated with a triple switch hold and five ice skaters, right? We're doing that lateral work and stability. Movement number three, we're down to that four point stance with an alternating uh, T row out of that four point stance. And movement number four, we're gonna go into that half kneeling, as I am now, diagonal chop, right? Working on that core and trunk stability team. So as we get started here, go ahead and leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know uh, how you're doing, most importantly, and with episode 101, we'll go ahead and get started, team. We'll find that 40 seconds are on the clock. We're up in 10 seconds here. Up in five, four, three, two, one. All right, team. Nice low squat position here. Drive up through your heels. Reset into that front rack position. Drop down into your squat again. Drive up, reset. Low squat, hammer curl up, front rack position. There you go. Good, now rotate through these two movements here. Use a little bit of momentum can carry you up into that front rack position. Again, a little two for one here, focusing on that lower body, driving up into that bicep hammer curl, if you will. Nice strong position here. Last two seconds, last one, and time. Good job, dropping both weights here all right looking on getting that heart rate elevated we should have about can't push the towel here <laughs> five seconds here we have that triple switch hold and five ice here so i'm gonna start on my left side here with those three high knees one two three nice pause and then you have five ice skaters so nice lateral balance here and then one two three good really stick that pause, good, Woo. okay, try to stay on the balls of your feet here, 
<laughs> Reset into that lateral work here. 10 more seconds. Good. Out in five, team. Good, and finish that one out. All right, finding one dumbbell here. One dumbbell here, we have a four point hold into that T row. All right, so a few reminders here into that four point stance. Our hands are gonna be underneath our shoulders. Our knees are stacked over our hips here. 40 seconds on the clock. We're gonna work 20 seconds on one side at a time. All right, so think about stability. Think about a nice strong core. Think about focusing on our mid to upper back into that T row position. Last three seconds here, two, one, we'll go to switch sides here. Drag that weight to the other side here. <laughs> 12 seconds and we're out here, team. Good. Our gaze should be looking down at our fingertips. Last three, two, one. Nice work. Cam Bush coming up Woo. with those 30s. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sticking with that same weight, if not a little less. We can go into that diagonal chop. We're gonna take that half knee facing the front here. From our right to our left upper. Two hands on the grip. Up into that full extension, controlling that weight. From your side hip. Exhaling as you drive up. Good, five more seconds. We'll go to switch sides. All right, here we go, team. Right knees up, left knees down. Good. Last 10. Ken Bush. Feeling that stability. Oh, yeah. Feeling that balance there. <laughs> last two. Last one. All right, team. Good work, good work. Way to finish off round one. <laughs> First quarter, nice. first quarter in the books here. As we take our knee, <laughs> we'll extend a knee. Uh, we'd like to take the time here to welcome you to our BeFit Live program workout. Again, if you were just joining us, BeFit Ambassador Roy Montes here with my teammate, Captain Brad Bush on my right side, keeping me accountable every step of the way. Um, okay, so hybrid style of workout. You can really tell the difference between the three or four different types of movements that we're working through for today. Uh, and, and again, I think that triple switch hold with the ice skaters, something we do not do no. on a regular daily basis. So force you to work on your coordination and you got to focus on your, on your movement so you're not you know, falling all over the place. <laughs> exactly. Fast feet are, are not for, um, let's say, football athletes. Like that. We, we need to make our way through, right. through life with some fast feet. So. Uh, <laughs> all right, team, up from the top here, dumbbell squat, alternating front rack position. Let's go. Let's get to work here. Good. Get a little two for one here, right? We get to focus on some bicep curls and some lower body. Good. Finding our rhythm, finding our weight can go a long way. Good. Got to keep our chest up as we drop down into our squat. Last 10 seconds, team. Good, out in five. Last three, two, one. All right, team, drop the weight here. Into those lateral movements. Woo. Focusing on coordination. Focusing on coordination. <laughs> Again, hybrid style of workout, right? So we have a little bit of both. We have that resistance training and we have some of that cardio-based movements here. So I'm gonna take a step up real quick. Two, one. All right, team, starting with those high knees. One, two, three, nice little pause. Try to get that knee up. And then we are into our five ice skaters. Good. Woo. There it is. Don't forget to use your arms for momentum. Good. There you go. Stay with us, team. There's that pause. <laughs> and time. Good stuff here, good stuff. Uh, 
Glutes are activated here. I'll yeah. let you know that, Kevin Bush. Absolutely. We, <laughs> uh, as if the squats didn't do it for us, <laughs> that lateral work will definitely activate. All right, four point stance here. Up in three, two, starting with our right side here, four points. And let's row. Again, a T row position here. A little bit of a different focus than if we were to go into a conventional row, which would be palm facing you, and your palm is gonna be going to your pocket, right? A little bit more lat work on the right side. Let's go ahead and switch sides here. With this T formation, you're thinking your elbow is driving up into a T and coming right back down. Shoulder blade work, mid to upper back. Good, head's looking down for the last three, two, one, and time. And really a great way if you're finding any pressure into a hinge row position. It's a great alternative to keep in mind if you're trying to isolate your back, but you have a little bit of pressure in your lower back out of a hip hinge movement. So half kneeling diagonal chop, coming up, left leg is up. Here we go, team. Good. Nice deep breath on the way down. Exhaling as you bring your weight up diagonally to the left side here. Good. Last two, last one here, and we're gonna switch sides. Grip placement matters as well. Try to play around with that. Maybe it's your lead hand going up at the top part of your dumbbell. Whichever is most comfortable for you here. Last three, last two, last one, and time. Good job. <laughs> yes, sir. Good work, BFit Nation. Good work. Stay with us here. Episode 101 bringing you here with our Exchange BFit program. Again, just one component of our BFit 360 program workout. Today we're focused on movement, just movement. It doesn't have to be anything aggressive if we're not there, but if we are there, let's pick our weight, let's challenge ourselves and have some fun. Again, just one component of our BFit Live program, our BFit Live program, rather. Right, we can still focus on nutrition. We can still focus on our wellness, our wellness as an overall. Maybe it's sleep as a third component here. Right? Different pillars here that our BFIT program focuses on. Okay? Focusing on movement, right? Any way possible here. Front rack position here, finding those dumbbells. A little two for one here. All right, team. Here we go. As we work through our third round here, Kevin Bush. Yes, sir. Uh, when, when, when you're traveling, when you're traveling for work or when you're traveling, uh, for life, right. uh, some of these compound full body workouts can really be beneficial to compact as much time and as much movement as possible oh, to really just keep your, your focus on, yep. on your health. Absolutely. <coughs> you need to be able to just sit on a plane or mm -hmm. sitting in the car. You know, that's full body engagement right there. There we go. Whether you know it or not. Absolutely, absolutely. So, again, a lot of good movements coming out of today's workout. Yes, sir. And whether it's the training, for your, training for your PT test, training for different events, training for the ACFT. Yeah. Again, your sprint drag carry can hold a lot of value with this movement right here. Just being able to move. Good. Showing that pause at the top of your triple switch hold. Showing that you're in control of your body here. Good. Good, good, good. Last 17 seconds here. There we go, team. Stay with us. Again, your lateral bounce. They can be steps if we need them to be. Ah. <laughs> Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Body weight alone on those laterals, I tell you, uh, I think they're a, a big overlooked component. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, if we're focused on some strength. Yeah. Add these, include these into your active rest period here. <laughs> <laughs> Four point T row here, coming up. All right, team, up in two, one. Here we go. 
Again, focusing on our right side here, a great modification to a standing bent over row. Takes the pressure out of our lower back, puts it into our three point, three points of contact, forcing us to engage our core as well. 20 seconds here, let's go ahead and move on to the other side. Good. Don't forget to breathe here. Exhale as you drive your elbow up into that T formation. Last seven seconds here, team. Good. Last three, two. You have one more rep in you? All right, there we go. Put that weight away here. Oh, actually, keeping with that nice half kneel stance here. Yes, sir. Again, Kevin Bush, push it through with me. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, team, five seconds here from our right hip up to our left with the diagonal chop. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Again, this could be dumbbell activated. It could be a heavy bag, <laughs> a sandbag, right? A water jug. A water jug. <laughs> How heavy is that rucksack? <laughs> All right. Honey seconds here, we're gonna switch sides. Again, focus on keeping our core nice and tight, nice and contracted. Feel that engagement to the left and the right side of our abdominal section. 10 seconds here, firing up our obliques. Good. Five seconds. Last three, two, one. All right, team. Find our breath here. Find our cadence. Round three. Good job. Here's a. Here's a team hand clap for us here to push out, push through round three. Absolutely. Yeah, we got, the, got that chief chat applause with us today. We have a chief chat coming up. I'm sure we do. Uh, but if we do not, we do not. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and drop us a note, team. <laughs> All right, pulling up 28 seconds here. 22. All right, go ahead and leave us a note, team. Let us know what your most favorite of the four movements are for today. What are the most challenging movements that you are finding throughout today's workout as we move into round four, right? Keep that hydration up, find that focus. Let's dial it in, and let's push through this last and final round. Here we go, grabbing those two dumbbells. Front rack position, into our squat, 40 on the clock. <laughs> Dropping down, controlling our weight as well. Nice, strong movements. Think about a controlled tempo. It doesn't have to be too slow. Not so much time under tension as a four second down, four second up rather, but just being able to read our bodies, right? Slowing down with enough pace to read how each muscle group is firing off. Read how it's doing what we are asking it to do today. A little bit of effort putting out here, last five seconds, last four. Pushing through, two, one, and time. Good stuff, good stuff. Captain Bush showing up with a heavy weight today. Oh man, I'm feeling it too. <laughs> feeling like every bit no, <laughs> no easy task here. No. Speaking is not easy. Try and focus on that hold for at least one or two counts here, right? right? One, two, three, and then move on to your fives. And if it's not a bounce into your high knee, maybe it's a step. One, two, three. Left side, right side. There it is. 15 and out, team. Stay with us. Good, out in eight seconds here. Again, forcing us to raise our heart rate, raise our elevation. Good, last two, last one, and time. Good job. Good job, Camp Bush. Who wants to sit down again? Yes. <laughs> Unless you extend our rounds for us today. Overtime. <laughs> Overtime. Fourth quarter here, 10 seconds. Finding that weight. All right, down into that four point stance here. Again, focusing on isolation here, removing the lower body component, focusing on that mid to upper back. 40 on the clock here, working for 20 seconds on one side. Finishing up our last and final round. If we can increase our tempo just a little bit. Let's try and do that, team. Five more seconds, we'll switch sides. Three, two, switch in one. Last rep, here we go. Switch sides, that last 
And final side here. Keeping our hips square to the floor. Good. Nice strong breath, breath here. At an eight. Last five. Add in three, two, finish out this rep. Good job. Nice. Good job, good work. Good All right, moving on to our last and final team. Finish Stay with strong. us, Be Fit Nation. Finish strong. Finish strong. Cam Bush calls it. Yes, sir. Last set, best set. That's it. <laughs> All right, team. Left leg up. Finding that chop. Good. Good work, team. Again, it doesn't take a lot of weight to really challenge your balance, your stability, your core control. 21 here. Let's switch up to this rep. Good. Switch sides here. Good. Showing some nice control here with our dumbbells. Good. Shoulders activated. Think about engaging your core just a little bit more. Cam Bush, we've got two more reps. One and two. Nice. Good. Good. That's the way to do it. That's it. That's the way to finish all 40 seconds here, team, if you feel like you've maybe missed a step. We have some additional time on the back end. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I always ask. Uh, we can catch up here. Yes, sir. All right, team, as we find our breath. Let's go ahead and stand up here nice and tall. Find that breath, find that cadence, find that towel, find that hydration. All right, team. Captain Bush here yeah. with myself, Roy Montes. Really thinking about today's hybrid style of workout here, right? We asked a lot of effort into some different types of movements that we may not have been accustomed to, right? But focused on each individual component as far as muscular targets. So as a hybrid style of workout, strength being a great component and a progression into our resistance training, right? As well as cardio-based movements today, really thinking about keeping our heart rate elevated, burning some additional calories, uh, and, and just focusing on moving our bodies, team. Uh, the weight doesn't have to be very heavy if we don't have that available to us, but if you're looking for any additional gear, any different, different additional products and things like that, visit your exchange, visit our exchange, visit your installation right next to you. We have a great deal of products available that can really help you build, sustain, and increase your BFIT lifestyle. ShopMyExchange.com is what you saw on the screen right there. Visit us online or visit us in store. Visit our BFIT department and we can take care of you. Sports nutrition, um, sporting goods, as well as our entertainment, or entertainment, electronic section can really dial in with fitness trackers to really help with metrics gauge on calories, on sleep, on steps, if metrics and uh, can really be a great tool to utilize for goal setting and goal achieving. So uh, dialing in those metrics and, and trying to use those tools available to us, just like our B-Pit Live workouts uh, to really help progress you. Uh, if you step outside of our main stores and you go into our exchange malls, look for those wellness services that can really add some benefits into your health and wellness regimen, right? Optical centers, optometry care, uh, chiropractic, chiropractic stores, uh, dental, durable medical equipment. ShopMyExchange.com forward slash wellness is where you can find some additional information as well as what you have on your installation near you. ShopMyExchange.com slash wellness will give you that information on what you have available at your installation. If you go from our exchange malls outside and into our exchange restaurants, right? Look for those better for you options that we have. Uh, more than 1,600 exchange restaurants that offer better for you choices. Surf through the menus, try to hunt and seek those better for you options that you may um, not always find, all right? Team? So dial in that nutrition. That takes up a big component of our health and wellness and leading into a healthier and a better version of yourself, team. If you step outside of our exchange main stores and you go into our express stores, right? Look for that healthier choices tag where more than 400 items are tagged with this tag on screen that can really take the guesswork out of smart snacking options. All right, and again, more than 400 items and products that uh, may be low in calorie, low in sodium, high in protein, uh, that can really just uh, refuel you or fuel you from uh, breakfast to lunch, lunch to dinner, or everything in between. Uh, again, smart snacking options at our express stores. If you're looking for additional information on our BeFit Live programs and programmed workouts, uh, hit our exchange hub, right team? Uh, if you go uh, uh, to this website or scan the QR code, pause this, screenshot this, 
and scan the QR code. Uh, it'll take you directly to this site where we catalog all of our BFIT Live program workouts. We have videos, tutorials, uh, workouts, uh, dialing in running and a uh, chasing 26.2 marathon training. All right, so we have wellness services there, we have nutrition, and we have additional gear that the exchange has available as well. We can take you through some quick links and uh, get you dialed into uh, leading in a BFIT lifestyle team, sustaining, leading, or starting, right? Just matters that starting can be the toughest part. And uh, so uh, with Kevin Bush, I think we were uh, speaking about that earlier. Sometimes starting is the toughest part and, and it can be the most, uh, uh, the, the toughest step, but overall the most rewarding after you finish, uh, whether it's a workout, whether it's a walk or a run, or whether you're training and really engaging into uh, your ACFT training. Right, absolutely. So, uh, any, anything on your end you'd yeah, like to share? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, that, that can't be the toughest part. I mean, mm -hmm. but you just, you, you, you got to remember, you don't have to just jump right into it. You can, you know, if, you, if you're going on, a, if you plan to do a run, you can, you know, walk at a, at a brisk pace and then kind of build yourself up to the run or mm -hmm. whatever the workout is, you can mm -hmm. build up to it. And, it, it, and you're right, just, just put one, uh, one foot in front of the other and you'll, you'll, you'll get there. So, right. Um, yeah, just stay after it. Right. You're good to go. Absolutely. Uh, and again, I, I think uh, you know accountability and, and having an accountability partner goes a long way. Right. And I think that's a really uh, good component to share with the team here. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I have you along with my side, and I have Sergeant Barry as well to help keep us accountable every step of the way, every rep of the way. So we push each other. We help uh, you know take that first step of showing up, right? Yeah. And, and then uh, kind of feeding off of each other's energy and pushing one another as we go along. Yes, and so I, I think that goes a long way as well, Beef It Nation. If you have uh, the opportunity to share this with your family, uh, with your friends, your, your spouses, your coworkers, um, your teammates, uh, your, your, your close, uh, you know, soldiers, airmen, uh, guardians, things of that nature. Uh, share this, share this with your team, all right? Keep each other accountable. Let's keep each other moving in that healthier direction for one another to benefit one another and lead a healthier and healthier lifestyle. So again, uh, Beef It Nation, that's our hybrid style of workout for today. I hope you enjoyed today's workout team. Again, uh, Captain Brad Bush showing yes, up sir. nice and strong, choosing the heavy weight for today, <laughs> and, and he came out, came out swinging for today, so uh, I had to keep up. Uh, so I had to keep up with Kevin Bush here. So uh, Beef and Ambassador Ray Monta is here, uh, Kevin Bush, and we are signing off here. Have a great rest of your week. Start the week off uh, nice and strong with us, and uh, we'll see you again next uh, Wednesday, I believe, uh, 4th of July on a, on a Monday. So. Uh, Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll see you here again, ready to put in the work and uh, really just uh, progress each week. We're here with you with our Exchange BFIT program team. Signing off here. We'll see you then on the next one. Have a good one.